what we're going to do is learn about finding different locations around a map on the globe um, using latitude and longitude. So latitude and longitude is important when we need to find different locations, um, especially absolute locations. If you ever use GPS or Google Maps, all of those programs use latitude and longitude. It's not a difficult thing to use, and any map that has coordinates listed along lines of latitude or longitude can help you find an exact location. So let's start out with, first we need coordinates. Coordinates are always listed in a pair with a comma in the middle. The first number is always latitude, second number is always longitude. Okay, um, so I'm going to leave this up here that we can reference back to. So we're going to start out simple. Let's look at a grid and we'll notice that we have what we'll call our equator at zero degrees and what we'll call our prime meridian at zero degrees. And of course the top is going to be our north lines of latitude going up. Our bottom is going to be our south lines of latitude. On the right hand side we have our east lines of longitude and on our left side we have the west lines of longitude. Now none of these are a magic puzzle. It's not something you have to figure out. Everything is literally listed especially with its direction east, west, south, and north. So we're going to practice finding um, an absolute location on this grid given some coordinates. So let's do 30 degrees north and 0 degrees. So you'll notice on this very first one I have a direction is north and on the second one I don't have a direction. It's because that degree will fall along the longitudinal line of 0 which happens to be the prime meridian. So 30 degrees north and then zero degrees. So we're always going to start with our latitude. We're going to find 30 degrees north, which is here, and then we're going to follow our lo the line along here and match up with our longitude. So we're at zero degrees, so down here is zero degrees, and up here is 30 degrees north. And then you just meet at the point. Here is our first location. This is 30 degrees north and zero degrees. Let's find another location. Let's do 25 degrees south and 20 degrees east. Again, this isn't a magic puzzle. It's very simple. We just need to follow our coordinates. So if we're at 25 degrees south, we're going to start on the south. 25 degrees is going to be between 20 and 30. Now there's not a line there for that, but I need to imagine that there is, and I'm saying it's going to be about right here. And then my other coordinate for longitude is 20 degrees east, which is right here. So when I bring those lines together, I end up right here at 25 degrees south and 20 degrees east. So we can also work backwards. If there is a given point say right here, and someone asks, what is the longitude and latitude of this point? Well, that's simple. We can, it's, again, it's not a magical equation. We just need to look. We're going to start with our latitude and our longitude. So our latitude is going to be 10 degrees south, 20 degrees west. And that is latitude and longitude on this grid. Let's bump it up a step, and let's look at latitude and longitude on a different grid. This grid is no different than our first grid, except that the lines are bent for the longitude. Latitude, we still have these parallel straight lines. Now for longitude, they are bent, meaning when we have to follow a line of longitude, let's say it's 120 degrees east, we'll have to bend with the lines of longitude. So let's practice looking for some coordinates. Let's look for 60 degrees north and 90 degrees west. Again, not magic. 60 degrees north, so that's going to tell me if we're starting in the northern and southern hemisphere, we're in the northern hemisphere. 
and 90 degrees west. Now 90 degrees west falls upon this line. So I know for my latitude, I'm gonna stay parallel and go straight. But for my longitude, because of this grid, I'm gonna to have to bend with my line. So 90 degrees west and 60 degrees north, I'm gonna to come together, I'm gonna to bend, I'm gonna end up right here, okay? So let's look for some more coordinates. Let's look for 15 degrees south and 150 degrees east. So again, we start with, are we in northern or southern hemisphere? We're in the southern hemisphere. 15, I have 0 and I have 30, so I'm going to be right in the middle. And 150 degrees east. I have my west side over here and east over here. Here's my 150 degrees. Now when I bring these lines together, it's again really important to remember that you're going to have to bend with the line of longitude. So I'm going to follow 150 degrees down, 15 degrees south, and I'm going to meet right here. Okay, so again, let's practice going the other way. Let's find a dot on the map. We'll put it right here. And now let's work toward finding the latitude and longitude. So first we're going to start north or south. This one's definitely in the southern hemisphere. And it's located between 30 and 60. And I'd say 40 is about right there. 50 is about right here. So maybe this is 56 degrees south. And now we're looking eastern western. It's definitely in the western hemisphere. But I can't just come straight down. I can't follow my 180 number here and come over and say, well, it's about 190. Remember, I have to bend with my lines. So my x is between the 150 and 120. So halfway between 150, 120, maybe a little bit more so towards 150. Bring this line up, try my best to follow that curve. That's gonna put me about 140 degrees west. So again, it's just taking the time to stop and think, okay, the first coordinate is latitude, the second coordinate is longitude, and am I going north, south, east, or west? Let's try another coordinate at zero degrees and 90 degrees west. Now the first coordinate is always latitude, and we see that there's no delineation whether north or south. But we need to know that zero degrees is along the equator. It has no delineation east or south. So if we start at zero degrees, and then I need to find 90 degrees west, here's my line. I'm going to travel over until I'm close. Remember my 90, I have to whip around following that line, and I end up here for zero degrees and 90 degrees west. Similarly, using lines of longitude, if we say 65 degrees north and zero degrees, our 65 degrees north is our latitude, but our longitude is zero degrees. So that means we're going to be following our prime meridian here. So 65 degrees north, I need to go to the northern hemisphere. 65 is going to be a little bit above 60, and then my zero degrees is my prime meridian. So I'm going to meet about there. And there's our mark. So again, making sure to follow lines of longitude if they are distorted a bit is really important when using latitude and longitude and looking at a projection. Now let's add another step. We have countries behind our latitude and longitude and bodies of water behind our grid lines. Now when you're looking at this map, it's a little bit different than the ones we've looked at. The lines of longitude are labeled right down here in the southern hemisphere, and our lines of latitude are labeled on both sides. Okay, So we are going to work with some given um, lines of latitude and longitude. We're going to start with 65 degrees north, 110 degrees east. Let's find the country that is located in 65 degrees north and 110 degrees east. If you're looking at the map right now, you're thinking, well, how are we going to find the country? None of them are labeled. It's always okay to have a different resource around. And I have my handy dandy atlas next to me. So let's start at 65 degrees north. Here's my zero. Now this map's a little bit different because it goes by degrees of 20. 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, and then 90 is up here. So my 65 is going to be approximately right here. I need 110 degrees east. Again, my numbers are on the bottom. Here's 100 and here's 120. 110 is going to be right between that. 
So I remember I'm gonna have to curve my line and meet right about here. Now I need to figure out what country this is. So I'm gonna take my atlas, I'm gonna compare it to my map, and we see that we end up in Russia. Okay, let's do this again. Let's look for 15 degrees south, 45 degrees west. So again, starting northern southern, we're starting in the southern at 15 degrees south. So here's my equator, here's 0 and 20, I'm going to go a little bit more than halfway. 45 degrees west, so I come down here and look at my numbers. Here's 40 degrees west, 60 degrees west, so I need to go a little bit to the left of that. And over to 15 and come up, come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. And I end up here using my atlas. I can locate that country, and I can see that it is Brazil. Do two more. Let's go 32 degrees south and 25 degrees east. So I'm looking at my southern hemisphere, starting at 32 and 25 degrees east. Here's 20 degrees east, 40 degrees east, so 25 is just a little bit on that side. I'm going to run my finger over first, and I'm going to curve around, end up about here. When looking at my atlas, I can see that I end up in South Africa. Last one we're going to try. Let's go 25 degrees north, 85 degrees east. So, starting northern hemisphere, going up. Here's 20. 25 is going to be about right here. 85 degrees east, I find my eastern coordinates. Here's 80 and 100. Starting at 80 and going over to the side a little bit. I'm going to curve my finger up, come over and meet about here. And using that handy dandy atlas again, I can see that I land in India. Um, so the next thing we're going to look at is finding specific coordinates on the map. Um, let's just plot one of our coordinates and then we'll work on finding. So we will stick one in the old good US of A. And let's circle it so we don't forget where our mark is. And then we'll stick one over in Australia and in Europe. So let's work on finding those three coordinates. So starting with our coordinates, we know the location. We just need to actually find the latitude and longitude. So we're going to start with our latitude first. Is it in northern or southern? Definitely in the northern. Here's 40, here's 60, that's a little bit above 40, so I'm going to say probably 44 degrees north. Now I need to look. Is it eastern or western? Definitely western. This is one of those times where you're going to have to bend your lines. 120 is next to it, and so is 100, so it's between 100 and 120. If I follow my line down, I'm going to land somewhere in the 115 west right. And those are our coordinates of our mark. 44 degrees north, 150 degrees west. Let's come over to Australia and find where we put our X. X marks the spot. So again, we're going to start first with our latitude. Here are 0 degrees. We're going to come down. It's a little bit past 20 degrees. It's between 20 and 40. I'm going to say it is 25 degrees south. And then using our lines of latitude or longitude, it's going to be between 120 140. I'm going to pull my line down and say it's about 130 degrees east. And our final location, again starting with latitude, ask yourself is it northern southern? Definitely in the northern. So I'm going to use my lines of latitude. We're going to start at 42 degrees north. And then I'm looking, is it eastern or western? It's just on the west side of the prime meridian. And if I bring that down, I'm going to say it's about 9 degrees west. So that is how we find latitude and longitude. The important things to remember. Always start with your latitude and then your longitude. Latitude is looking at the parallel lines, north and south. Longitude is looking at east and west and make sure that you're paying attention to how a map has broken up those lines 
because remember this map is by 20s, 20, 40, 60, 80. This map, the first one of the first ones we used, goes by 30. It's at 0, 30, 60, 90. All maps will be completely different. Um, some are delineated by 10s, 20s. Just make sure you pay attention to that before you start grading your latitude and longitude.